If you used to create your own dashboards in Universal Analytics, you're probably wondering if you can do the same thing in GA4. Well, the answer is yes. Although the dashboards in GA4 are a bit different from the ones in Universal Analytics, you can still create them. Or if you're new to GA4 and you'd like to create a dashboard for your most used reports, well, you're in the right place. In this video, we're going to check out GA4 dashboards, how to make them, and tools that you can use to make viewing your GA4 data easier. So what are GA4 dashboards? Well, they're like big screens with lots of little reports on them called cards. Dashboards are handy because you can see all the most important metrics in one place instead of clicking around to find different reports. It's pretty easy to create custom dashboards in Universal Analytics, but it's a little bit different in GA4, and in fact, you can do it using different tools and different methods. So let's go over these three options. First, you can create GA4 report snapshots. This is a great way to get a quick overview of your site's performance. Or if you're using WordPress, you can install Monster Insights. It makes it easy to add Google Analytics tracking to your WordPress site. Or you can use Looker Studio if you want to get more detailed insight into your website's data. All right, let's look at option one. When you log into GA4, you'll want to navigate to the Reports tab. Now, once you're there, the first thing that you'll see is a report snapshot. This is a ready-made GA4 dashboard that gives you a quick look at how your website's doing. But you can customize it to include reports and cards that you feel are the most important to you. So to get started, click this pencil icon to view the customized report side panel where you'll find all the cards in your report. Now, you can rearrange these cards by clicking these six little dots on the left and dragging them to a new spot. Now you can edit these cards, but you can delete it by clicking the X on the right and then create a new card and add it back in. Now, if you want to create a new report card, just scroll to the bottom of the list and click add cards. Then select from the pre-made cards or use other methods to create a dashboard if you need something that isn't there. You'll notice that there's a second tab with more report cards that you can look at, of course. And be sure to check out the other dimensions that you have available by clicking the drop-down arrow. Now, if you find a card you'd like to add to your dashboard, just click the checkbox. Then click the blue Add Card button. Now you'll see your new card has been automatically added to the end of the list of other cards. If you'd like to move it up, just click and drag it up into the new position. Then go ahead and click the blue Save button. Now, unless you're trying to start from scratch, you'll want to click the Save Changes to Current Report option. Then just click Save, and that's it. You've edited your standard GA4 Reports Overview dashboard. Now, if you're using WordPress, you're in luck. Our next option is perfect for you. If you're not using WordPress, no worries, just skip to the next step. Now, if you'd like a quicker, simpler method, you'll want to use Monster Insights. Monster Insights is a Google Analytics plugin for WordPress. It makes it super easy to connect your WordPress site to Google Analytics and view all the data in your WordPress dashboard. It's a done-for-you method for GA4 dashboard reporting. With just a click of a button, you can set up sophisticated tracking features such as event tracking, e-commerce tracking, form tracking, custom dimension tracking, outbound link tracking, and a whole lot more. Now, when you log into your WordPress dashboard, you can see stats right on the dashboard widget. Or you can just head over to the reports area and see easy to read reports like the overview report, traffic reports, publishers reports, the search console report, e-commerce reports, and a whole lot more without ever leaving your WordPress site. To get started, Take a look at the reports that you get with each license level and then choose the level that has the features that you need. Or if you're just wanting to get started, then use the free version of Monster Insights. Now to learn more about Monster Insights, be sure to check out our ultimate guide to Monster Insights dashboard report. All right, let's talk about the last option, Looker Studio. Now Looker Studio is Google's free tool that you can use to build your own GA4 dashboard. It's got a bit of a learning curve, but it's a really powerful tool that you can use to create the exact reports that you want. Now, we're not going to get into the full Looker Studio tutorial here. That would take forever. Instead, Google has extensive instructions for how to use it. But if you're interested, you can check out this link to the start with the Looker Studio Quick Guide. So there you have it. 
That's how to create G4 dashboards. Now, we hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to check out the links in the description for more details. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. See your Google Analytics data in WordPress with Monster Insights. Get 50% off right now and subscribe for more helpful content like this.